Salford um, during the 80s and 90s had a long history of decline, people leaving the city, industry closing, a lot of things that uh, went wrong. Uh, and then over the last few years we've picked ourselves up, we've got lots of exciting opportunities such as the BBC moving into their headquarters here. You know, these are real opportunities for the people of Salford, but you know, they're not just going to take advantage of them by accident. We've got to put in the right conditions to ensure that we've created the jobs and we want to make sure that the people of Salford get those jobs. We're providing an opportunity for people from different backgrounds, with different experiences, different ages, different um, jobs, um, to share their ideas on what we want the city to look like in the future. I would say that there is a really impressive array of people in this room. I hope that they listen to us, because it's not just about adults, it's children that are the future. Think about key experiences that have shaped your life, world events that have shaped society, and in Salford, milestones that have shaped our community. The stuff on the walls is, is sort of a timeline, really, uh, over the last 34 years. So, a bit about personal stuff, so what's happened in your life, a bit about what's happened globally, and then what's happened in Salford over that time. It was good to know about what was happening in Salford before I was born and how things have changed since then. There was a general story of decline. There was a closure of the docks, signals of the collapse of industrial society. Rising new economic power in China, India and Russia. In the beginnings of great optimism. When Salford works together with itself in, in teams with good leadership, we could do almost anything. What are the world trends having an impact on Salford's capability to link people to opportunities. An increase in short-term employment. Using more and more energy and increasing our carbon emissions. The need for higher skills. Uh, increasing risk of urban flooding. So there was lots of separate ideas, lots of ideas that melded together and lots of connections between different things as well and it was really interesting to see that picture. The first thing that we're really proud of is the falling rates of crime in the city. We're proud to have established a health training scheme. Raising attainment in all sort of education. Real pride here in actually securing Media City UK. Sorry some, that the benefits of regeneration haven't always extended right across the city. Our inability to make a difference in some deprived communities. The proud and sorry is showing that people can be proud of what they've done, but then people are also admitting that they could have done better. Good afternoon, welcome to Salford TV. Today, the date is the 22nd of July, the year 2024. Big news this afternoon in Salford that the corporate strategic directors at Salford Council have all been sat. <laughs> Met my love in a trendy bar, dreamed a dream by the waterfront. We had to come up with what we thought would be the values, um, the things that would be in place in 2024. Um, and then the barriers that would have stopped us getting there. And then we had to present it back in some form that would suggest it could be a play or a poem. And we, we chose a poem, well, it was a song really. It was based on the, uh, the old song, Dirty Old Town, about Salford. And we completely turned it on its head and had the song talking about um, Salford is, a, is the new clean city. It's a way of participation and enabling everybody to participate. Everybody can read and write in Salford now. Well, I think I'm being heard, and I think the other youngsters that are being heard. I hope I live to see the 22nd of July, 2024, because by God, I'll remember today. And we've got opportunities and chances to live your dream. Everyone who lives in or aspires to live in Salford is able to access a home they can afford, which meets their family's specific needs 
in the neighbourhood and community of their choice. We have a safe, clean, green, active and connected neighbourhood. We are committed to supporting households and families which are confident, diverse, prosperous, stable, sustainable and which demonstrate respect for all. Those who would be happy to do so will form a reference group stroke challenge group. Our statement was um, putting on people in more influential positions. Jenny's offered to take a few engineers on a day out to see what um, their life would be, her, their life would be like. And there was really a, a commitment to deploy resources at, at the local level. I feel as though my voice has actually been heard. I feel as though I've made a difference. I feel hopeful that we're taking on board the inclusion agenda. And I've been really, really impressed by the networking that's gone on in this room. To try and bend and flex the service that we deliver. I feel very optimistic about what Salford has to offer for the future. It's the first time I've been in the strategic partnership where it's really acted as a partnership. There was much more in common than the stuff that separates us. I think I've learnt more in the last three days about the city and the aspiration of its people than probably ten years in my new job would ever tell me. I'll certainly be ensuring that we make, make um, a, a reality of a number of the actions that are coming out today. Try and remember us, because we do live out there and you're building our future, basically. If you look out there, our new house is being built for us actually, which is going to provide the jobs, it's going to provide the glamour, the excitement, it's going to provide a new impetus for Salford. This has convinced me that we've got a fantastic future in our young people in their commitment they're prepared to show to the city. And I think all of us have got to echo that in the commitment we show over the next few months for making this happen. Thank you.